In this video, let's talk about getting the RetroMic mining tools and profit switching working with your HiveOS instance without any installation necessary. Over the past week or so, I've been fielding a lot of questions and helping out a lot of people in the community getting the mining tools up and running. And one of the things I noticed is there's a lot of people running hosted instances where they don't even have access to the rigs per se. And so one of the big drawbacks with the web UI is you need to be on the same network as the uh, mining to as the rigs in order to access the web UI. This is something that I really didn't take into account for when I built it out. And so it was kind of built with the assumption that from a perspective of a home miner, you know, you're on the same network, things like that. But I realize with electrical prices, hosting is really popular right now. And so what I did is I implemented uh, essentially multi-user on the mining tools platform. And I have it hosted myself. So what that means is you can head on over to tools.retromic.net. You can register an account and you can basically get everything set up, hook it up to your HiveOS instance, hook up your exchange accounts, it'll profit switch, it'll auto exchange, uh, you'll be able to view logs, everything's only pertinent to your account, nobody else can you know, view your uh, API keys or anything like that. And it's an easy way to get up and running. Now, full disclaimer, I recommend running this yourself. However, if you can't or if you don't want to, then this is certainly an option. A couple caveats here. It doesn't work with the Gold Shell ASICs. So uh, when we hop over to the website, what you're going to see is you don't see a Gold Shell ASIC. And that's because that one actually scans your network, imports the devices, and it actually uses uh, UI automation to make those changes because Gold Shell actually has their devices locked down, so we can't really remote into them. So unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use this for Gold Shell. However, if you do the regular installation, which I covered in my previous videos, you will be able to do those. You just won't be able to do them using my hosted platform. Um, the other thing is the dev fee, the donation is locked in at 5%. So uh, just bear that in mind. Uh, whenever you set up your rigs, you won't be able to set the donation and you won't be able to change it. It is locked in at a um, locked in rate of 5%. So what that means is every essentially every six hours, it's going to mine to the dev fee wallet uh, for several minutes and then it'll auto switch back to your rigs. So just keep that in mind if you do want to go with this installation. So let's just talk about how to get it up and running. All you're gonna have to do is head over to tools.retromic.net and you can, if you don't have an account, you can just click register new account. Oops, I'm actually logged in, let me log out. You're gonna register new account and you're just gonna enter a username and password uh, so for this, I'm just going to create a demo account, hit register, and here we can see we're logged in with that demo account. And now what you can do is you can head over to core configuration, and what you're going to notice is a lot of strip down uh, options here. But basically, you can put in your default power price, uh, your API key, your HiveOS farm ID, and what you want that differential threshold to be in order for it to switch between coins. Once you configure that, let me go ahead and, uh, let's see here. Give me one second, let me go ahead and grab an API key. Actually, we will, let me just log in with an account that's already set up. All right, so we're logged in with an account that's set up. And if we hover, head over to the Hive OS rigs here, we can see I have a, I've got some rigs here. Let's go ahead and we'll actually just clear all these out real quick. All right, 
head over to core configuration we've got our default power price we've got our API information we we'll head over to the Hive OS rigs we can hit import so we'll go out to our Hive OS account and it's going to import all of our rigs and then we can come in here and if I take uh, let's just take tower one as an example if I hit edit plug in a what to mine uh, let's see here new tab grab this URL plug in a what to mine URL hit update and then we can import the coins just give it a minute it would be a little slower on the instance than uh, when you're running locally and then here we can see it already brought in all the profit amount based on my rig definition uh, on what on the what to mine link and then I can come in and I can set my flight sheets and all the flight sheet information is going to be pulling in real time from your Hive OS instance so you're only going to see your own flight sheets it's going to be just like you running um, on a local instance except this will be accessible anywhere over the internet so if I wanted to turn that one on I could tick that turn that one on and then it will begin profit switching as I know is oops I actually think I put that on the wrong one I did I put that on the nice hash one by mistake but we would just come in and select uh, Zeno update Okay, and then it would start profit switching those. Uh, just like the normal setup, same thing with the exchanges. You can head over to the auto exchange section. You can add whatever exchanges you need. Plug in your coins, any exclusions, the trading pair, your API information. And um, for KuCoin, if you want to auto move to the trading account, just make sure they're enabled. Uh, now the one thing you'll notice is you can't control the schedule. Schedules are ran every 15 minutes for both profit switching and auto exchanging. So just bear that in mind. Uh, it will run every 15 minutes. Uh, so the only thing you can really leverage here is you can leverage this threshold. So if you don't want it to profit switch quite as much you could probably bump this up to like a 20% threshold. That way it's not constantly changing. Uh, but once you get that all set up, and you can set up mining groups. Again, mining groups will be just for your account. Uh, everything you see in here is just for your account. And then if you head over to the dashboard, you're going to see uh, entries that apply to your account anytime it profit switches or auto exchanges. If you clear the filter, you'll see the system information that pertains to your account as well. So a really simple way to get up and running. Uh, this is really useful if you just want to try it out before you install it or if you can't install it because you have hosted rigs that you can't deploy this onto and access the web UI uh, without doing like something like port forwarding. It grants you that flexibility. Um, it also grants you uh, some flexibility, <coughs> excuse me, some flexibility around just trying it out and also if you just kind of want to set up an account have your rigs in here technically you can leave all these turned off and you could just periodically come in here and just look at the profitability all right this is real-time profitability on these so that's another thing you could leverage as well um, especially if you are on zerg pool uh, if we take Let's just take this rig as an example. And if we switch this thing to Zerg pool, <clears throat> we could plug in uh, some of the Zerg pool ones, uh, like ET hash. I could plug in, uh, you know, my hash rate. If I knew I had, let's say, 550 mega hashes at 1200 watts. 
I can hit update here and I can see okay real-time profitability on ET hash at those rates is still negative dollar thirty seven <clears throat> so you can kind of use this also as a replacement for what to mine if you want um, or just a substitute for it so there's a lot of things that you can use this platform for uh, if you wish uh, but that's really it uh, right now if you need password reset or anything jump in the discord um, we'll verify your information and then you can do password resets that way right now there's no automated system for doing like email password resets or two-factor auth so just keep that in mind when you're setting this up this was kind of a real quick setup uh, to get it up and running for people who don't have the capability to run the installation themselves and just want to see a hosted environment uh, where they can plug it in uh, maybe do some basic profit switching just test it out and that's pretty much it so thank you for watching drop me a comment below let me know your thoughts on it and uh, if you're using the platform definitely let me know uh, what you think and if there's anything you would like to see added